We've got the seating unit that customers keep moving around. It's by Highmark Manufacturing. They're a high-end laundromat, seating, and table manufacturer. And customers keep sliding it all over the building. It's heavy, too. So we're going to just use concrete screws and attach it right to the floor there where it's supposed to be. Because it's always sliding around, then plus there's damage there to the paint or the window. And how you do that is you just use concrete screws. First you have to level the legs on here, which I've done. And they just screw up or down, and there's a Phillips head if you need, or a, a flat head there. So I've leveled the unit, and then you want to measure it off the wall first. Make sure that it's even. It's about two and a half to the top of the cove base. And there's about two and a half. Maybe just a, a tick back. We want to leave a little space back there for the window washer. And then we take a marker. And if it was too deep to get a marker, you could just put a nail or your concrete screw right there and then just tap it with the hammer just to make a make a scratch then you'll know where to pre-drill and we'll do the other one and we'll pull it away from there and pre-drill our holes with the concrete bit and then usually you'd like to have a hammer drill we use a DeWalt that symbol means it hammers and it's got the six volt bat battery and light options on it. Bright, medium, and dim. We're gonna go bright. And we get these concrete screws at Menards, Lowe's, or Home Depot. We have Menards here in the Midwest. It's, it's our favorite. And there's a bit that comes with it that matches the screw size perfectly. And then I go deeper than the screw because there will be a quarter inch of dust of concrete dust that will settle down in that hole and it won't let you put that screw down any deeper into the concrete. And these are just inch and three quarter which is plenty just to kind of tack down the, the seating unit to deter people from moving it around. And we don't mind if they do. It's just that we've got to move it back and the girls are clean here. It's pretty heavy for them. But we just want stuff looking symmetrical and nice and in its place where it's supposed to be all the time. So slide your unit out. You can do this with laundromat folding tables or anything, a trash can for that matter. Same principle. And put your setting on the hammer. That's the hammer. One more just to clean out the dust. Find our mark. There's our mark. Then slide the seating unit back. <laughs> and these are star bit screws. They don't strip out like the Phillips do. We get this at Farm and Fleet. It's a farm store. Those are the DeWalt high security bits. They've got they've got holes in them, depending on what you're doing. 
but any star bit would work for concrete screws. Then the seating unit is done. It doesn't move. And that's high mark seats. Solomatic makes a seat too, but those are not as well built and they fade. They look pink after a while if they're red. They're not as well built. They're more plasticky, fiberglassy type. But Highmark is contemporary. And they're solid. There are very many seating manufacturers for laundromats. There's a couple airport seating places. They're more the bench, bench type. They're, they're cold, they're hard, and they're not ergonomic. These are expensive. These are the most expensive seats for laundromats, but they're definitely worth it because you'll get a lot of compliments. Customers sit here for an hour and a half. They better be comfortable. Take care of your customers. Give them the best. Nothing but the best.